from comonews.com of Southeast Portland, Oregon, co-owner of restaurant tells 911 not to send police. A business co-owner called 911 about a potentially deadly situation at a restaurant and told the dispatcher not to send police. It happened at the Red and Black Cafe on Southeast 12th Avenue Thursday afternoon. Police say John Langley, a co-owner of the restaurant, was standing out on the sidewalk with his arms crossed. They say a man inside was suffering from a heroin overdose. I love this. You can just imagine the picture right now, standing outside. No, you shall not pass, officers. As Langley said, it was more like this. We don't allow police in here so we can totally accommodate the fire department and other emergency personnel, not police, though. That's what he told the 911 dispatcher. The dispatcher says, I'm required to send everybody. Langley replied, okay, well, if the police try and come in here, there's going to be another problem. And this is, again, I, I love this. And this is a very important lesson that you can take away from this, is that when you are receiving services from the city or from the government that you want to get, that you need because you're in some dire situation, you can at least take a stand when you're on private property and say, you're allowed, you're not. And now a paramedic might say, I'm not coming in without the police. A paramedic might say, that's a dangerous situation. I want the police to come and protect me. And then, you know, you're in a whole other difficult situation. But the reason this is a problem is because we trust the government to provide emergency services. And we've seen in places where the government has said, well, you haven't paid your tax or whatever. We're going to let your house burn down or we're not going to provide these services or roads are closed or whatever the case may be. And you have a lot of really well-intentioned people. And it's sad that you have these three essential functions of society sort of bundled together, right? Law enforcement or providing for the public safety, which is really the, the, the only legitimate part of that service they're providing. Um, I mean, yeah, you could say dispute resolution and everything else that's rolled into the legal system here in America, but public safety, fire safety, and medical safety or medical emergency response are now kind of tied into this one 911 thing. And it's fine. I mean, it might, it might be what you have in, uh, in a free market, that that's what people want, that they want those things tied together. They want, when they're having a med medical emergency, they want uh, the, the fire department to be able to show up in case there's some bigger, you know, jaws of life kind of thing that's required that only the fire department can provide, or that if there is someone with a heroin overdose, you want someone there for public safety. And, and heroin's not a drug that makes people violent uh, or, like, unless they're stealing to feed an addiction right i mean i don't know i've never done heroin but it's not like pcp but and i've seen someone have to be restrained by the police because they were on a bad pcp trip and it's sad again that you have to depend on the police for something like this as opposed to someone who's just looking out for the public safety who's just trying to help people because the problem with all these things being combined and handed over to government is that when it's public safety or when it's dispute resolution well it's also law enforcement now and of course it's not enforcement of the natural law or individual rights it's the whims of politicians so if you have someone you know in a dire situation where emergency services are needed for their health or safety you also have to bring in the violent representatives of the politicians yeah and in this case we had a business owner saying no that's not going to fly here langley says he found a man curled up in the bathroom and barely breathing as he said, the person was slumped against the wall and I was scared that they were dying or dead, maybe. He says paramedics arrived quickly and went inside to treat the man. As Sergeant Pete Simpson, a spokesman for the Portman, Portland Police Bureau, said, so the officers talked with medical personnel and said, it's really your call. If you want us to come in with you, we will come in. Simpson says officers were alarmed by the situation. Quote, it actually generated more of a police response than it normally would have because, you know, we're going to an unknown situation with a person potentially overdosing on heroin in a bathroom. Definitely the EMTs, this is Langley now, definitely the EMTs and the ambulance driver could have handled it. I kind of feel like I don't know what they were doing there except maybe waiting to see if they could bust the person or something, and I'm not down with that. Amen. Holy crap, you've got a business owner saying... If you're doing drugs, I don't want you to get busted for that. You have an individual right to decide what you put in your own body. And as much as a threat as drugs might represent to your health or your personal safety, there's no reason to screw up your life worse with legal consequences for your decisions. The victim was not arrested, nor is he facing any charges. He was taken to the hospital where he was treated and released. And if this business owner, if, if Mr. Langley hadn't stepped in, it could have gone a lot worse for him. Simpson says the officers would have been well within their rights to enter the business if necessary. Fuck you. Holy shit. See, this is the problem. This is why you can't trust government to do these things. Like, you can't call someone on your property and say, hey, I need medical help. 
without officers saying, oh yeah, no, your private property rights don't apply at that point. We can just send in whoever we want. Langley describes himself as a homeless advocate and anarchist. He has a history of not allowing police into the restaurant. He made, made headlines back in 2010 for asking an officer to leave after he bought a cup of coffee. This is John Langley. And the restaurant is the Red and Black Cafe on Southeast 12th Street. So if you want to go to a slightly freer zone than the rest of America, and you happen to be in Portland, I hope you'll check it out and support a business that is protecting people from the government. This is your last morning. That would have been the end of it. And that would have been justice for Kelly Thomas, who might be alive today. Back up.